So hello everyone welcome back to TechMesh. Today we are diving into a common issue that many Windows users face. The Miracast not supported on this device error when trying to use the Miracast or Cast2 device on your Windows system. If you have encountered this frustrating message when attempting to stream content to another device don't worry. We have got you covered with some troubleshooting tips and solution to get Miracast and Cast2 device up and running smoothly. Before we get started make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our helpful tech tips. Let's jump right in. Before we jump into the troubleshooting let's clarify Miracast is a wireless display standard while Cast2 device is a feature in Windows specially designed for sharing multimedia content. So I will show you a couple of steps so try each of these steps and check which one work for you all right at first just turn on network discovery so just go to your control panel search for control panel and open your control panel and then here select view by two category and then click on network and internet and after coming to here then click on network and sharing center and in your network and sharing center click on change advanced sharing settings just click on this option and then here you need to turn on this network discovery so you need to toggle it on all right so here you need to toggle the network discovery on so this was the first step and then check if it solved your problem or not and if it didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our next step for our next step we will allow our cast to device through windows firewall so for that just search here for windows firewall so here just search for windows defender firewall and then open your windows defender firewall here and then in this option here just click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and then here you need to click on change settings and now we need to search for cast to device here so just scroll down and here you can see cast to device functionality so you need to toggle both private and public turned on all right so here you can see we have checked both of these option and this was the second step and then make sure to restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not so let's close it for now and now let's move on with our next step so our next step is to running windows network troubleshooter so for that just go to your windows search here and then in your windows search just go to the settings of your device and then just click on system and scroll down and click on troubleshoot and then here click on other troubleshooters and then here in your other troubleshooters you need to just click on network and internet and here click on run and then run the troubleshooter of your network and internet and check if it solved your problem or not all right so now let's move on with our next step which is to update or reinstall network drivers so additionally you should consider updating or reinstalling your network driver through the device manager outdated or corrupted drivers can sometimes cause connectivity problems so just click on your windows search and here just type device manager and then open your device manager and in your device manager you need to click on network adapters so here you should find your network adapters so it is usually like real tech something or something like that so just select your appropriate network adapter right click on here click on update driver to update it or if the update didn't work for you then you can also click on uninstall device and after uninstalling the driver you should restart your computer and after restarting your computer your driver should be automatically again installed all right let's move on with our last step which is to go to our windows services so for that just go to your windows search and search for services and open your services app and in your services app just scroll down a bit and here you should search for dns client and then just here right click on here on your dns client and click on properties and in your properties here it should be selected to automatic the startup type should be selected to automatic and then you should click on start and hit apply and hit ok and if it is already selected to automatic then you are good to go so after trying all of this step then make sure to restart your computer and there you have it some troubleshooting tips to fix the miracast not supported on this device issue in windows including the steps for cast to device remember to check network discovery review windows firewall settings run the network troubleshooter and update or reinstall network drivers if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and let us know in the comment section if you have any other tech issues you would like us to cover thanks for watching and until next time i'm mesh from tech mesh and i'm signing out